All right. Anja asks, how would you go about a find and replace script for text that is within Confluence, the Confluence page body? It'd be a parallel to the existing built-in script that does this for page titles. We keep having team names change and needing to change them in Confluence pages. This, this touches on bulk changing Confluence content. I like it. Yeah, um, I have a solution for that. Um, so basically, probably as most of you know, Confluence does have a native find and replace feature, but you might want, might want to use this script rather than that because that feature is only for finding and replacing text on a single page. Um, but with this script, you can find and replace text on, let's say, you know, every page in a space or any page that meets some particular criteria or anything like that. Um, also, as I'm about to show, you may only want to replace particular occurrences of that text within a page. Um, so basically, this is great for a wide variety of use cases. So I can show you um, what I've got here. Let me just share my screen here. Okay, so um, basically what I'm going to be doing in this example is I have this table here, favorite pizza by team. So let's say that you say, okay, human resources, anytime that we have that in a table header, that's just way too long. We would like to abbreviate that to HR. Um, so I have this page that has that. Um, this page, you know, has a similar table and I just want to bulk update that, but I want to leave any other text on that page of human resources alone. And I know the question wasn't this specific, but I thought it would be helpful to um, provide a little more of a specific example that you can make more general if you want. Um, so basically there's just the script that you would run in the script console and I can show you how I wrote that. Um, so let me share. Starting Tiffany, to share here. Uh -huh. Tiffany, with all these pizza examples, I know what's for lunch. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was definitely uh, pretty hungry when I was writing these. So you <laughs> can probably, that's probably pretty evident. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, you'll want to import, first of all, the page manager, component locator, and JSOUP. Um, so we will get the page manager here. Um, and we will get the root page. So for my example, I'm just changing um, child pages of this one particular root page. Again, this is kind of specific. Your example, um, you know, may not look like this. Um, but then what I do is, so um, for each of the children of this root page, um, I want to get the body of the pages and then I want to parse the body with JSOUP. Um, and I want to find any table header that contains the text human resources. And if I do in fact find, you know, table headers that contain human resources, um, then I want to use page managers, um, save new version of page method or save new version method um, and then for each of the page objects i want to go ahead and swap out hr um, for human resources and then just use um, the set body string method um, to actually set that um, and change that um, so let me show you what that looks like when i actually run this and then let me start sharing again here so i'll run this and then let's see what happened. So cool. Now human resources have been, has been changed to HR in the table heading, but all of the text um, outside of it that says human resources has been left alone. Um, same for this page here. Um, and also real quick, I can show you guys just like a different way of um, doing this. Well, the same way of doing it, but um, if uh, you want to, hold on just a moment here. Let's say that maybe you wanted to, like I said, um, get um, um, your pages from like, you wanted to change all the pages uh, in a particular space. Uh, you can also do that. So let me just- See, this is, this is killer. This is something that people ask for so much. <laughs> I am so impressed, Tiffany. Always, always. 
And I will say, watch this space because, you know, bulk updating content is script runner for Confluence's bread and butter. So we're always, uh, we're always like looking at ways to improve this experience too. Yeah. So.